What's up, players? This is Octo, and today I've got for you a special uh, bucket plugin episode. This one's going to be about the config.yml file. This is a uh, config short for configuration. Uh, what's really great about this um, is that you can save variables and strings and basic types like uh, integers and stuff like that uh, to a file in your plugins folder on your server and then recall it later just by uh, using like a, a YAML parser um, that's why it's a .yml file so you have to be exact with these files and that can be a little tricky at first but once you get used to it it's uh, the, probably one of the most versatile tools you have your, uh, access to let's figure it plugin uh, programming so we're gonna bring this down here and get our Eclipse up <clears throat> there we go alright and you can see I'm in the uh, let's see hello world 2 project um, at the Minecraft Wilson farm uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for we're gonna look for a value. So we're gonna actually we're gonna go to the main class instead of make a new command here. And what this one is gonna do is it's going to uh, set a specific uh, number or you know let's pick color. Pick color is a word. All right, so uh, whenever we want, we can set a color. Um, we're gonna just do red, blue, and yellow since it's nice and easy so in case we say color you'll be able to also add a second portion so we're going to check the number of arguments because we want color and then a color after that so if you want to know what the command is going to be it's going to be like this color blue or slash color red or slash color yellow in game that's how they're going to type it and they can set the color uh, create a Kind of like a probably a global vari variable up here. So at the top, we're just going to create string color equals uh, let's start off at uh, red. Okay, just like that. So this first string is red um, initially. We're going to check the args length. If args dot length, uh, I believe it's just like that. All right equals 2. Right, is that correct? Arg's not length. Uh, oh, right, there we go. If um, arg's not length equals 2, that means if we have, uh, or I'm sorry, equals 1, we only want one argument, then we are going to check if that uh, argument is one of the colors we have previously selected, okay? So we're going to do switch, um, args, and that's the arguments we're putting in, by the way. Uh, the first one is the command, so slash color, and then everything after that is an argument separated by spaces. So if slash color red is um, the color command with it one argument that says red. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, the one argument. And we're going to look for that first argument, which is zero in an array. If you don't understand why it's zero instead of one, uh, that's just how it works in programming in Java, because zero is the initial uh, the initial part of a set. That's just how it works. So you're gonna have to get used to it if you aren't already used to it. Uh, trust me, you'll be better off for it. So we're gonna look for arg zero, which is the first uh, argument. Arg zero to lowercase, like the command. And if that case is blue then what we want to do is we want to switch color up here our global uh, color uh, value color equals blue just like that and we're going to want to return true here perfect and uh, case oh, here we go case yellow it's going to be similar, equals yellow, just like that. So we got the return true and we got our basic colors. So naturally it's red, so we should probably add a case for red as well, so we can turn it back. So color equals red, there you go. Return true, perfect. That should cover it. Um, oh, one more default. Uh, if it's not anything it recognizes, it's just going to say uh, player dot send message. I have no idea what color 
you chose try red, blue, or yellow. Right? And then it will return true as well since we've covered it. So if it's uh, one argument and it's not any of the ones we recognize, it'll go to default, give them an error message, and finish it off. Right? Um, so that's perfect. That should work just fine for now, um, you'd think. So we're going to add the command there, color. And the disk, oh, I'm just gonna say, you can't use uh, tabs there, my bad. We're just going to copy this. And we're going to name it color, like the command. Uh, selects a default color, and you'll see uh, how it works. Um, we could just leave it just like that. Alright, and I forgot to add that we will also need to add um, a case if the args length is zero, else if args length equals zero, then we want to get uh, what the color, the default color is. So it's just going to say player dot send message dot check. Uh, you don't know chat color. We'll just send them the message of the color, and it'll say. Sorry, we gotta go back a little bit there. Your color is just like that, and then it'll append the color to it. Perfect. And we'll also want to do proper grammar, so we'll end it there with a period, and then return true. And if it doesn't match any of those cases, we'll just say, I have no idea what color you chose like before. Perfect. Just like that. All right. So um, I'm gonna reset. This uh, export here, and go into the server. Reload. There we go. Now we type color, and as default, it's red. Uh, we type color red, and it's still red. Color blue, and now the color is blue. Perfect. But what happens if you restart the server? Try the color again, and you can see it's been reset to the default of red. It still works, as you can see there. It's changed to blue and also to yellow. The problem there is that uh, our global variable that contains the color we input is reset every single time we reset the server. It doesn't save in between resets or stops. And especially if you crash and you don't have time to uh, save that data somewhere else manually, you're going to lose it all. Uh, you know, uh, so what you want to do is you're going to want to save it to a config.yml file. And you can do that using the Spigot API. Luckily, they've got ways to manipulate it from here. You don't actually have to go into the files or anything like that. So instead of just setting the global variable to um, color equals blue, we're going to enter, uh, actually, we're going to go up here to on enable in our main class, and we're going to initialize our variables. Uh, we're always going to want to uh, make sure that if they're null, then it it, it fills them in because the first time you load them, it, you won't have the file. So we're going to do uh, get yeah get config dot um, set okay and set allows you to set your values. Um, and I should probably take this time to look at a uh, ver an example of a YML file. Okay, uh, let's go to the plugin YML. As you can see here, I was explaining earlier in uh, one of the videos, the, probably one of the first ones, that this has a parent node and child nodes, okay, like this. So this is the parent commands, and the child node is give sword, and then we got a child node of give sword called description and usage, okay. And what this does is it allows you to group uh, values together. So these two, you can have description and usage for each one of these commands, and you can have as many commands as you want, and you can also have the version and the name and all that stuff. So you can contain all sorts of useful information using the, just the structure of 
four spaces indent. You can't actually use the tab button to indent, you need the four spaces. Or if you want to keep going, you know, you can keep going to however many that is, uh, eight or something like that, I think. Anyway, so it figures that out. What I'm going to do is um, show you how to set these in a, instead of plugin.yml, you set it in a config.yml. And I'll also show you where that is so you can manually edit it if you so wish. So we we'll go here and we're just going to set um, color. That's the name of the value. So you can see the parent node, like it would, instead of name, it'll say color. Instead of the value um, just being uh, hello world 2 for name, we're going to do the color 2 red because that's the default. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, we're also going to check if it's null first, so that's important. So we're also going to learn how to get it. If a get.config.get color, uh, it shouldn't be boolean, it should just be uh, get string or yeah, get string uh, equal to null, just like that. Uh, then it's going to set the color to red, okay? And because that's the default, if it's already set, it'll do nothing. All right, perfect. And down here, we'll set the colors um, just like we did up there with the set. So it's to get config dot set, and it's the color value. We're going to set this one to blue because that's the better command there. And then you can copy and paste this underneath it to do it for each one, so you don't have to keep typing it. We got yellow here and red here. All right, perfect. So now when we want to use this command, it's not going to give us the global variable. Um, it's actually going to give us, we're going to get string color just like that. Oh, sorry, just like that. There we go. Get config get string and color in quotation. And that will give us um, what's actually in the uh, config file here, right? The value that we saved instead of just the uh, global variable. So this one gets saved every time. The thing is, though, we need to remember to save our config file whenever we change it. So after each one of these, um, we got to save config before we do return true. So we're going to do save config just like that. That's the command. Remember, save config will always go with get config. If you don't save it, um, it probably won't get saved. So you know, don't uh, depend on putting it in the like on disable or something. Because if you crash, you're not going to get the chance to save it. So there you go. Um, and if you don't save it, by the way, if you reference it here but you don't save it, you won't get the right thing. It'll be the old version of it because it'll have to reload it um, when it saves it. So just keep that in mind. Um, so anyway, so once we got save config here as well, uh, we can, I think we can export it and try it out. It's actually uh, that simple. Uh, here we go, look at the shot. And then reload. So let's try our color, our color is red, right, obviously. Um, so we'll do color blue. And we'll try our color out now. Our color is blue. Alright, so it's working as we expected. Now we're going to uh, reload the server, enter our color again, and it's still blue. You can see it's actually saved our uh, variable there. And I think I'm that simple. So what? Uh, you can save a word. But you could save um, player IDs, and you could save them um, with different child nodes underneath, like uh, classes or skills or experience points. Uh, just keep in mind that every time you do a get or a save or a set on your config file, um, you're going to be taking up resources in your Minecraft uh, server. So unless you have a really, really, really good memory, like uh, you know, like four gigabytes of RAM, or like two to four gigabytes of RAM, or something like that, and uh, you know, plenty of CPU or whatever it is that runs it, uh, you're going to want to watch out for using too many of those. Uh, what I like to do is set the variables um, inside of the plugin, uh, you know, like uh, inside the Java class and then save them all in bulk at the end uh, or or like just often enough so that in case it crashes I don't lose much you know um, so that's I think that's the best way to do it and now I'm going to show you where that's actually been saved so um, if you want to manually edit you can and we're, here we go so you can see this is our um, 
this is our server here. We're, going, we're in the build tools folder. You can see I've got the plugins folder. And now instead of just the plugin, we actually have a folder with the same name and a config file. And you can see it's the type YML. You can actually open that up as um, regular and you can see it's color blue just like that. And you can edit this just here. We could change it to yellow. Uh, well, I, we stop the server, change it to yellow, and um, restart the server, and it would actually tell us yellow. Uh, you could put, um, you know, brown in there, even if that's not one of the commands, and it's still coming through brown. So that's you know the wonderful thing. So you know, tinker with that, see what you can do. Um, I'm gonna show you another skill after this one. The next episode, lists and hash, hash maps. Um, those are gonna help you take your uh, config game to the next level. All right, so enjoy.